Hi, this is a doorbell running on a Raspberry Pi. And it's not just a doorbell, it's actually more than that. It has internet, it has a camera, it can live stream at the person who's at the door. It has an intercom, so you can talk to the person who's at the door. When someone presses a doorbell, it will send you a text, it will send you an email, it will send you a Hangouts message, send you a tweet, it can do whatever you want really, it can send you any notification. You also get live streaming to YouTube and local live streaming, all in HD. This doorbell is fantastic for anybody who leaves their house, but is expecting somebody to knock on their door, or is expecting a delivery. So let's say you're at uni, delivery comes, they knock on your door, but you're not there, so it calls your phone. And you can tell the doorman to where to hide your package, rather than going to the post office. You can also notify you about potential people at your door. You can talk to them if you're away on holiday. Tell people where to go and how to, and how to contact you. It can be used for businesses. It could be used as a security solution because it takes the photo of a person at your door. You can use motion detection as well. This is amazing. So let's demonstrate how it works. When I press the button, it's going to tell the LCD the time and date. When, the, uh, when it's pressed. So if you, if you press it now, it's going to say ding dong at this time and at this date. So so if you leave the house and you don't have in any internet, it will just tell you when you come back that your double is pressed at this time and date. Now I just cancelled the call on my phone, but it did take, it made a call. Now if we see what happened other than making a call, because we'll come back to that later, is if we look at the things that it did, it sent me it sent me a message on Hangouts and a message on Gmail. So if we look at the message on Hangouts, it was a ding dong at this time and at this date. You also send me a, a Gmail message. Somebody knocked on your door at this time and at this date. Have a great day. And it also sent me a picture of what, what the camera is seeing. As the camera is facing upwards, it's just showing me the ceiling. It will also send me a text. This text was a little bit slow. Usually it takes 10 seconds. So, hi, somebody knocks on your door this time and this date. So, if, even if you don't have internet, you'll still know the door was pressed. You can, in Gmail, you can see the person who's at your door. And in Hangouts, if you're on your desktop, you can have a notification uh, that someone knocks on your doorbell. It will also give you a Twitter notification if we load that up. Here one minute ago, ding dong at this time and at this date. When I press this button, it's going to call my phone. It's going to use this USB webcam. We're going to use this speaker for audio. We'll have a amplifier, USB amplifier later to integrate the whole system together. So when I press the button, it will call my phone. This is very quick. So it's very quick, but the phone needs to be on Wi-Fi, 3G or 4G. There's somebody in another room to demonstrate this. Um, they're going to be talking on the phone. We're going to see, we're going to hear them and they're going to talk to us. Hello? Hello, how are you? I'm good, thanks. It's clear and it's audible and it works on Wi-Fi to Wi-Fi. It can even work on 3G to 4G to any G. And it will call your phone instantly as soon as you press the button. So one last say, say something. Hello? Good, good. Say so it works. Now let's focus on the camera. Now we have a Pi camera there. It, we've demonstrated that it takes a photo of the person who's at the door. And uh, we'll send it as an attachment. So if we look at the photo, there it is. It's quite clear. And it's taking a photo of my ceiling because the camera's facing upwards. And but what if you wanted to change the direction of the camera? You want to move it somewhere else. So what you could do is, here's a 3D printed camera mount, so you put the camera in there and it will tilt, it will swivel, it will tilt and swivel and go back and forth. And this wire can, it's been tested to go up to 4 meters, so you can have this going around your door, out the front door, and this you can put some velcro on there, you can glue it, you can screw it, do whatever you want with it, but you can stick it to, the, to your front door. It will be a speaker that you can put on the outside of your house, it can be waterproofed, 
one of those wireless speakers, or you can use a powered speaker, or even one of these magnet speakers with a USB amplifier. But let's look more at this camera functionality. We have it live streaming, so just in case you weren't satisfied with the call, you will live stream in HD and very little lag. But you need to be on a local network. So if you press this button, the camera will turn on. You will, you will then have to go to the local IP address, which is here. Here. And you can see that I'm filming right now. But you have live footage and you can see my hand over the camera. So yeah, it's very little lag, it's high quality. And you can see it right now is pointing at the camera, uh, it's pointing at the ceiling. So it's very good. And yeah, HD footage. What if you weren't satisfied with just a phone call to your phone? And you weren't satisfied with all the messages, the texts that you could get. And you weren't even on the network, but you really wanted to see the person who's outside your door. Well, you got YouTube. This, this Raspberry Pi can stream your footage to YouTube. So if we look at YouTube, here we are, this is YouTube, it's live streaming the stream. What you can also do is program the button, so when you press it, it only live stream for 15 minutes, so it's not always live streaming what's outside your house, you only get a 15 minute window after you press the button. But you can change the settings, you can do uh, whatever you want, you can even have it live streaming all the time. This could be developed into a security camera solution, so when you press the button or you can have motion detection, it will send you an email. It can live stream for 15 minutes afterwards. It can record the YouTube, can record the live streams as well. So yeah, you can use this uh, as a security solution. And instead of this button, you can use some sensors like a wi uh, window breaking, noise, infrared, uh, PIR. And here we're demonstrating it on an iPad. There we go, it's a bit bright so you can't see the edges. We're on an iPad. So we just search your doorbell. And there we go, and I'll click on the first channel. And here we go, we are stream. We can now see me that I am filming this. And there we go, filming it. You can tell it's live, but it's 420, like 420 minutes. You can see me filming the iPad. There we go. You can use any device anywhere on the internet. You can be on Wi Fi, 3G, 4G, any G. Now, if we look at the pricing. This camera was £10, so this is an LCD, so the camera was £10, the LCD, this is £20, but if you want, you can make your own shield, LCD shield, by getting some strip board, getting a standard two-line LCD, putting it there, soldering the LCD to the back of this, and putting a header on there, and you can do it for one or two pounds, this whole solution, because the LCD is very cheap, so you can have a header there, and you can place this on top of here instead of the shield. So where are we on? So the camera is ten pounds. This is twelve pounds. Let's say uh, the camera. I'm using webcam uh, for audio, as we just need any webcam. It can be for a couple of pounds. Let's say two pounds. You can get a, you can get a microphone inputs. So, so we're on fourteen pounds. The doorbell with a wireless receiver and the speaker inside here. They are three pounds. We're now on seventeen pounds, yeah, and I think that's about it. So seventeen pounds. You have all of this solution. Absolutely amazing.